I am very happy to see you here. I hope you and family are keeping safe. Will you please subscribe? The white-tailed deer, also known as the white-tail, or Virginia deer, is a medium-sized deer native to North America, Central America, Ecuador, and South America as far south as Peru and Bolivia. It has also been introduced to New Zealand, all the greater Antilles in the Caribbean, and some countries in Europe. In the Americas, it is the most widely distributed wild ungulate. In North America, the species is widely distributed east of the Rocky Mountains, as well as in southwestern Arizona, and most of Mexico, aside from Lower California. White-tailed deer are generalists and can adapt to a wide variety of habitats. The largest deer occur in the temperate regions of North America. The northern white-tailed deer, Dakota white-tailed deer, and northwest white-tailed deer are some of the largest animals, with large antlers. The smallest deer occur in the Florida Keys and in partially wooded lowlands in the Neotropics. White-tailed deer eat large amounts of food, commonly eating legumes and foraging on other plants, including shoots, leaves, cacti, prairie forbs, and grasses. There are several natural predators of white-tailed deer, with wolves, cougars, American alligators, jaguars, and humans being the most effective natural predators. Females enter estrus, colloquially called the rut, in the autumn, normally in late October or early November, triggered mainly by the declining photo period. Young females often flee from an area heavily populated with males. Some does may be as young as six months when they reach sexual maturity, but the average age of maturity is 18 months. Females give birth to one to three spotted young, known as fawns, in mid to late spring, generally in May or June. Fawns lose their spots during the first summer. Male fawns tend to be slightly larger and heavier than females. For the first four weeks, fawns are hidden in vegetation by their mothers, who nurse them four to five times a day. This strategy keeps set levels low to avoid predators. After about a month, the fawns are then able to follow their mothers on foraging trips. They are usually weaned after eight to ten weeks, but cases have been seen where mothers have continued to allow nursing long after the fawns have lost their spots as seen by rehabilitators and other studies. Males leave their mothers after a year and females leave after two. I just hope you liked this video, and I will look forward to see you pretty soon. Till then, take care and keep smiling.